Welcome to Land Academy. I'm Jack Butella. I'm Jill DeWitt. We show you how to buy real estate for half of what it's worth. And sell it on the internet really fast. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill, and this, and this is, is the Jack, Jack and Jill, Jill Show, show too. too. With over 15,000 completed transactions, we're the experts at acquiring property. Of all kinds, not just land. For half price and flipping them for way more. All right, let's get this show started. Jack Butella with Jill DeWitt. Hey there. Welcome to our show today in this episode. Jill and I talk about how to call an interested seller back. Man, this is so important and I'm, I'm looking forward to it because I want to hear from the expert, Jill. Thank you very much. Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. Okay. This is, this is a little bit lengthy one, so I'm going to preface that. So a uh, new member here in our group, Shamga, <laughs> this is login, shares. Agreed on my first deal today. I figured I'd post it here just to write out my thought process and so that if I'm missing anything, someone will hopefully correct me. Details. Seller and his father are both on the deed. He sent me a copy. I couldn't locate it exactly in the map, but agreed on a price way below anything on the market. Red flag. (laughs) <laughs> I talked to the recorder and they verified things and talked to the treasurer and the taxes are good. This is good. Next steps. Getting them a contract. I'm planning to send them a small deposit because I don't think it's valid without one. Not necessary. I was going to say weird. This is a small deal, so I'm planning on doing title myself. Awesome. I think that I need to get notaries for both the father and son because they live in different states. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is boring. <laughs> It's distracting. It's distracting? Am I stealing your thunder? It's just a tad. <laughs> it's sad? Just a tad. Oh. No, you are. You, like, you look, every time I take a breath, it's like, darn it, don't pause. Jack's going to throw Jack, something in there. I'm not sad. I just, whew. Jack, you're a sad little real oh. estate investor. Jeez. I'm just trying to share a story. <laughs> Can I just share a story? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where was I? <laughs> my biggest question. Oh, shoot. No, I'm sorry. Wait, I totally, as we say that, I just lost my place. Wait, 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 wait. My biggest uh, question. Uh, okay. Whew. My biggest, do you want to finish this? My biggest question around title or having notary hand them the check is. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it to you. Right, you do I'm, it to gonna, I'm gonna be Jack. <laughs> this, this is good. My biggest question around title or having the notary hand them a check is what if I mess something up on the deed and I find out afterward that it wasn't done correctly? Boo hoo! <laughs> the seller would have already had the money. Uh oh. I feel, oh my god, sound effects chill. Well, this is what it's like. I feel like there's probably a step uh, here where I should, you know make sure that this doesn't happen if we're using a title company well that's a you know but i'm not sure what it is all right i'm taking back over (laughs) what's the play there and anything else that i'm missing thanks okay so we don't need to wait till the end to answer these things as you go you can answer them well it's kind of easy if you read the whole thing i think so escrow and title were designed to be an unrelated third party in the middle of a transaction so nobody you know nobody gets screwed over you avoid this by having a little bit of trust and saving a ton of money by sending a notary out there with a cashier's check, by the way. And that notary ends up being the unrelated third party unless, you know, they don't they don't notarize the document unless they have the cashier's check in their hand. We've done this thousands and thousands of times mm-hmm. with success. I wouldn't do the deposit thing. That that bothers me. That's kind of interesting. And I you know what? Either, I've never I've had never a seller uh, ask me for that. Hey, give me a deposit now. Mm-mm. No, that's a red flag me to too. me. If, if, if they did ask that, that'd be a red flag. Here's a big red flag for me, and I, you're new, so, you know, but you you have to use some product like Parcel Fact mm-hmm. or something to get a map and a four corners map of the property. You can't, you, uh, you do not ever, under any circumstance, want to buy a property that does not have that you have not reviewed a map mm-hmm. because of because of the four A's. Yeah, I wouldn't do the price. I still get back to him. So anyway, yeah, somebody responded in, uh, in line in this thread. Right, ahead, Joe. Um, th- th- I, I was sorry. I was thinking of a. I was t- I was going to review this again myself. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to read what somebody else wrote, and then I would like to 
relay how I would have done the transaction at the very, very end. Was that personally. a nice way of saying, just please be quiet? Can okay. I? <laughs> Can I please? Yes, I'm okay. zipping it, go. All right, thank you. Try not to talk. Okay, one of our one of our members, this is one of our members' replies, and I'm going to give you what I would have done. If I, Hopefully you, listener, got all this. Sham God, I would skip the contract and send the notary there right away with the deed to sign with a check for them. Money likes speed. If you're brave enough, I don't remember, I don't recommend it, but I do it all the time. You send the check with the deed for them to sign at the bank, at their bank, without sending the notary. Do the deed exactly like Land Academy teaches. Have another set of eyes look at it. Legal description needs to be exactly the same as a vesting deed. If you make a mistake, no big deal. It's just an extra hustle for you. You contact the seller and they have to sign they and they have to sign and correct. I accidentally made a deed for only a little road that was added to a property. I was going to record fast. I was going fast. I recorded with the county and they were and uh, and it went all the way through. Two months later, when I found a buyer, he's mad at me yelling at me that I'm a scammer and I don't own the property I called the county and they confirmed it they said you only own the road sir <laughs> so I contacted the seller and we did a new deed no problem they kind of have to cooperate with you if you make a mistake um, I you just bought it from them so anyway that's that's a let me let me back up to some big picture stuff here don't ever think this number one number two I love all the comments that the that the member weighed in on, which is, um, you know, be quick, do your homework, be careful, double check the deed, but don't panic if you do something wrong, you can go back and fix it. Um, have I had things wrong on the deeds? Sure, heck yeah. Oh, yeah. And what do I do? I, have I have I literally had a whole transaction I thought was done, the guy's paid, he spent the money, and then I find out, you know, three months later from the assessor that I I made a mistake, like, oops, I forgot something. And that's okay, I have that guy's phone number. I went back to the guy who I bought it from, said, you know what, I goofed. Can I send you a new deed and you just, you know, print it out on your printer and run to your bank, you know, next time you're in your bank, you know, have them do it for you and then just mail it to me? Yeah, and have they been cooperative? Heck yeah, it's not, it's not a, a big issue. So, my only my only comments here are um, a couple, which is, um, I think it's confidence and trust. Um, which taps directly into our topic today. Thank you. You need to have confidence in yourself, and your uh, and your sellers will also. And you are trusting them that they own the property, and then you're doing your own homework behind the scenes, and you're trusting that they're going to fulfill their end of the obligation which they do because you're doing it the right way, which is you, there's, there's, a, there's safety in sending not a deposit because what if they ran? What if you don't know these people? What if they just took, I mean, you, you don't know, but when you're sending a note or when you've confirmed the name of the person on the deed and you prepare a new deed and you're sending a note to that person's house, they're not gonna hand them a check unless that person's standing there with ID proving that they're that person that can execute the deed and they do execute the deed and then they get payment. They can't legally do it. Right, it's all. A notary takes on a lot of liability mm -hmm. without really knowing it. Yeah. They, they are on the hook legally yeah. to make sure that the person signing that document is who they is really who they are. are. And, the, and that, that it's signed correctly. Right, if I ever had it go wrong like that, no, I haven't. Um, and, but that's just part, it's just, it's a, it's a, ch uh, check in the process to make sure it's you know all done correctly so so a couple things is, and two you already sent them a contract which was when you did an offer you don't need to resend them something else well said, don't want to send don't don't bog them down well here's my thing too my part of and we're gonna this actually does tie into the show is part of why we are successful and these transactions go so well because I make it easy. I'm not going to send a guy a deposit now and he's going to have to remember, oh yeah, oh, it's minus $500 and here's a balance due. Oh, and I know I sent you this offer. Oh, and here's a revised one and I want you to get it back to me. No, these are extra steps and paperwork. We don't need to do all that. It's not that difficult. It just should be a really easy transaction and, and I think it just takes time and you'll and you'll get that and so so I want you to be you know 
comfortable and confident and you'll get there. Did you? Yeah, well said. Thank you. You know, simple is better here. Mm -hmm. And it's all about your attitude. So this launches, this gets us to the 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 show. show. If you have a question or you'd like to be on the show, reach out to either one of us on landinvestors.com. Today's topic, Jill's going to show us how to call an interested seller back and turn it into a transaction. This is the meat of the show. Go ahead, Jill. Yeah, I kind of shared a lot of it already. (laughs) Okay, so someone's called you back. They got your offer. They're all excited. You weren't able to take the call. (laughs) So it went to your voicemail or it went to uh, a, a, a phone service. Yes, we're working on Jill Live someday. I know that we'll help you with that, but it went somewhere and you didn't get it. So now you're calling them back. Well, the first thing I would do is have a list of questions, all the information that you need to know. So you're going to call them back and you're going to ask, you're going to confirm, hi, you know, I got your call uh, about, you may, you may not even know what property it is. They may have said, hey, I got your letter. Call me, Bob Smith, you know, 555-1212. And that's all you have. That's okay. You can call them back and they don't know that you're not a pro. So if you have a list of questions of what you want to ask them, you kind of sound like a pro. So call them back. Everybody has my cheat sheet and say, and I did make this public and I should do this again, by the way, Jack on landinvestors.com. I'm looking to you Mm -hmm. that we should put that up there again for everybody. Um, But you're going to call back and say, hi, you know, I, I, yes, I absolutely sent you an offer. One of the things I try to do is I want them to make them feel really special. Like they are the only one I sent an offer to. I don't say you're one of 1000. Do you have that number on the top of the letter? I never do that, by the way. Um, So, and if you, if you want to ask for the reference number, because you put one on there, that's okay. But don't, don't, you don't want them to sound like they're one of 10,000 and they're not important. So. Hi, Mr. Smith. My name is Jill. I'm with Land Investors and I got your voicemail and I am interested in your property. He's like, okay, great. Now I don't have my notes in front of me, Mr. Smith. Can you, can you refresh your memory? What with the county? Cause I may have several counties out there. What the, can you give me the details about the property? Sure. It's my grandmother gave it to me in 1941. This is really how it goes. And uh, I'm so glad that you reached out to me because my wife and I were just looking at the stupid property tax bill again. This is really how this goes. And you're going to go, oh, wow, that's great. Your wife, and you, your mental note, both are alive. Great. Because if they're both on the <laughs> deed, this is how my, my brain works. I'm like, oh, I'm taking I'm all stuff here. the information in, by the way. So, and I'm also learning that he's excited to sell, by the way, because he's excited about it. You can tell all this stuff just in this initial phone call. So, all right, so what am I doing? I'm gathering all the information. I don't need to go through the details, but I'm getting as much as I can. I want to know who's on the deed, who's, I want to know if they're alive and able to sign, you know, and, and I've, and, uh, you know, let's word it that way, but you're trying to extract that information. Um, you want to know, you know, where, what do they know about the property? Oh God, it's gorgeous. They were going to put a mall behind, across the street and that's why they paved it, but it didn't happen. Hmm. Access got that information. And then they'll say, You're yeah, smart, Joe. thank you. Seriously. You didn't know this? No, I know. Oh. <laughs> I don't do stuff. I- you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't you, you didn't know what's going you didn't know what all is going on up here. Yeah. So I really do extract all this information. I make notes of all this. Uh, I picked on, up on little signals. So all right. Uh, and so anyway, you're extracting that. You might and you're gonna learn that. Um, God, we're so tired of these tax bills every year. Oh, pays them every year. Good. Should be current. All right, I'm getting all that information. Now, what I usually sometimes I do most of the time I don't, is negotiate the deal right there. And there's a reason why. Um, One, if I'm new, I need to go back and do my homework. I need to go back and double check everything the guy's told me. Just because he said the taxes are current and there's a paved road doesn't mean there necessarily is. He may be remembering wrong. Maybe his grandmother told him he's that. Exactly. And she was wrong. And she's wrong or something. So I gotta do my, my homework. Number two, I want the guy to know that I'm going to go do my homework on that. You know what, Mr. Smith? Thank you. So I'm, I, I want to, and maybe my offer price, he's excited about it. I need to go back and make a look at the offer price too and make sure I didn't offer too much. You know what you really did there uh-huh. is establish trust. Because uh-huh. hopefully uh-huh. if he's a little bit younger, he's a, he's look online looking at, looking up, looking oh, you yeah. up. 
to see if you're for real uh-huh. and learning that you actually are for uh-huh. real. Just the way that you're doing homework, he's uh-huh. doing it too. Exactly. It goes both ways. You're exactly right. This, And they like to know, you know what else too? I, I uh, They like to know that this is my business. I'm a real person. I'm not a broker and I'm not anything like that. I am the investor. I'm making the deal with a transaction. And boy, do they love to hear that. Because now Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith is going to get excited when I call back. And so I get all the information. I'm going to tell Mr. Smith, you know, thank you so much. I'm going to go. Um, I, I need to verify a couple things and I'm going to look this up and I'm going to get back with you. Um, are you going to be around? If I call you back on Friday, is that, you know, is that a good day? Find out when they're going to be around. Let's not waste our time here, everyone. Not to say I'll call you back. That could be phone tag for a week. So find out when he's around. If he works during the day, say, hey, yeah, call me in the evenings or Sunday afternoons. I'm always home. Great. This is good stuff to know. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Goodbye. Now, one or two things. I either know right away where I want it, I'm, which I, you know, but I don't want him to know that yet. Uh, or number two, because I, I know my stuff and I'm, when you get good at this stuff, by the way, you're, while you're talking to Mr. Smith, you are sitting there typing and you're looking up, you're in like parcelfact.com and I'm staring at the screen and I'm confirming, yep, Mr. You're Jesus, Bob and Jay. You're jumping up and down in your own head. Bob and Betty Smith. Or you're saying, oh, maybe not. And I'm looking at it on the map. Oh, this is great. I mean, I'm looking, I'm really doing it all the time. So I probably really could. I mean, especially at, at you know, when you have a, you know, 50, 60, however many transactions under your belt, you know. And if you know that area, you've been doing a lot in that area, you already know the subdivision, you already know the area, whatever, that, that county and the APN scheme. And But you don't want to, you don't necessarily want to do that right away because there's, there's mental stuff behind it. It gets them a little more excited if you don't do it right then because you don't sound too eager. So anyway, now I'm either going to either know and I'm going to wait and call him. I'm going to set myself a reminder, a calendar reminder to call him as I told him I would. Um, or, and then, or B, I am now going to do my own homework. So that's what's going on. Do you want me to continue this? Jeff? Yeah. I mean, okay. I'm learning stuff. I, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, cool. I had no idea it was going to turn out this episode. Oh, thank you. Like <laughs> thank you. Gee, Jill actually has some good stuff to share. <laughs> Thanks. Who knew? Just kidding. I'm chapter eight. Am I in the thing? I can't yeah, remember. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. So anyway, so now I've done all my homework and one or two things are going to happen. I kind of don't want it. And I, and those calls are not, not that fun. And if I have their email, I might avoid a phone call, honestly, and just email them if I really don't want it. Cause I don't need to spend a lot of time. If I, I don't need to negotiate, what if there was something really wrong with the title? And I've done some, I've done a, a, enough, enough that I didn't waste a lot of time that I'm off that I go, yeah, shucks, I'm out. I'm going to send him a note, you know, an email if I have to. Otherwise I'll try to call him when he's not there and leave a voicemail. Um, and that's personal preference too. Uh, Cause if you don't, they might call you back and it'd be nice to let them know that you're going to pass. But realistically, let's just, you know, I want it, you know, I'm, I want to do it and I'm good with the price and I'm really just, I'm calling him back to, to set it up. So to set up the close. Uh huh. So remember we've had one phone call. I did my homework. He looked me up. He's anxiously probably waiting by the phone. He's, and by the way, he's waiting, hoping that I'm going to act on this deal. This is part of the psychology. If you wait even just one day, that's right. it really gets them excited. They, 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 they kind of wonder, they go, what if they, what if they don't want to buy it? Even though I got this offer and they're checking things out, what if they change their mind? So when you call them back, it's a good thing. So, and now you're calling back and say, Hey, Mr. Smith, gosh, thank you so much. I appreciate your patience. I looked up the property, um, and I do want it. And here's what we're going to do. And at that moment, I'm now setting up the transaction. So there's other variables that we can get into later on other shows if you want to, Jack. But this is this is a real good positive how it goes. So I'm calling him back and I'm saying, hi, Mr. Smith. Thank you so much. Um, here's what we're going to do. And by the way, I have the vesting deed. I, I'm not telling the, I'm telling you this listener, not the seller, because I looked it up and I downloaded it myself in Title Pro 24 seven. So I don't need it from him necessarily, but you can always ask them for a copy if you want, but I'm cool. Hi. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I would love to buy your property. I think it's nice. I think it'll fit in my portfolio perfectly. I want to send a notary with a cashier's check to your house. Like I promised in my offer, what day is good for you and where are you going to be? 
and that's really it. And then he's going to go, oh, well, Be- Betty, Betty, where are you on Tuesday? And they're going to work it out. So they're going to be at their home or a coffee shop. And, and then you're going to, and then we will follow through on that. But that kind of is how it goes. And that's you, excellent. And that's it. That's, I a, mean, Jill, that's an excellent play by play. Here's a summary and a takeaway of the whole thing. The seller is only going to get excited about this deal as much as you do. And mm-hmm. one of the new, that I learned this really early in my career. If you call back and you're and you say, you know, I, you got my letter, they're not going to get excited. But if you call back and say, I'm so glad you you took you took the time to review my offer. Thank you. We're real excited to getting this thing done. They're going to get excited. Mm-hmm. Number two, take control of the situation. They don't mm-hmm. know how real. Chances are they have no idea how to do a real estate deal. The last time they did a real estate deal was 25 years ago in their house. And they really didn't do it because everybody else did everything else for them. Good advice. They don't know what you know or don't know. You sound like they think you're a pro. So And put a plan together. Let mm-hmm. them know. Just like Jill said. So point number three, put a plan together right there on the phone with them. On Tuesday, we'd literally like to close this deal with you at the agreed upon amount, $2,500. Is that okay, Mr. Smith? And mm-hmm. he's going to say, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it mm-hmm. now. So now they have something to look forward to. A check's going to come in. Um, they've checked you out on the internet. It's really a three-point plan that really involves your enthusiasm mm-hmm. and your organization. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well said, Thank Joe. you very much. I appreciate that. No wonder that. we make so much money. Thank you. Yeah, make them feel good. They don't know that you're not a pro, so act like that's like my dad saying. Act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Seriously, it works. Or you could just know what you're doing. Oh, and by the way, so what if you forget something? By the way, especially when you're new, you have your checklist and you're all excited. You hang up and you go, oh, my God, I forgot to ask him the APN. How could I have missed that? So what? Call him right back and go, Mr. Smith, I can't believe I forgot that. What? I, th- I, I think I know it, but I, I wasn't sure I had the right one here. So I want to clarify. Can you read me the APN? I totally, I just make sure. Thank you. That's Thanks, it. Oprah, but we're out of time. Oh, <laughs> shoot, you gave me a topic that I'm, oh man, come I'm on, you I'm really passionate about this stuff, thanks totally. a lot, you're cutting me off. Just, I'm just trying to make you laugh. All works. right, jeez. No, go for it. No, it's ahead. okay, though, no, I was done, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> trying to send another episode where Jack and Jill discuss how to use information, that's me. And inspiration, and Jill just runs with her topic, that's me. <laughs> To get just about everything you want. <laughs> we use it every day to buy property for half of what it's worth and sell it immediately. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. I think that you portrayed it perfectly. Thank you. And I think you actually sounded the way that you sound on the phone with the seller. That's exactly how I sound on the phone with the seller. Well done. We used to do role plays. We should do some role plays again in some upcoming I was, shows. I was going to do that on this episode, but you were doing such a bang up job of summarizing really how it should go. I let, I let it go. Thank you. But I get a kick out of that, too. I mean, we, use, we lose a lot of listeners every time we do it, but you know, it's not about them. It's about Because they are us. dumb. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you want right now? No. Oh. All right. All right. You go first. <laughs> all right. All right. You wait. Wait. You be, you be the buyer and I'm the seller. Okay. Hello? I'm going to be a difficult buyer. I'm the buyer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Hello? Oh, I'm the buyer. You're the buyer. You're me. I'm the little old lady seller. Oh, is this Mrs. Smith? Hi, this is Mrs. Smith. Oh, it's Mrs. Smith. Betty I'm Smith. So glad that I, I caught you on the phone. The third. I, My uh, first two husbands were Smith also. <laughs> 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 See, this is why I don't get on the phone with them. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew I could marry all the Smiths in this county and they're actually not related? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Smith, you a little slut. You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Oh, yeah. I thought everybody knew I was knocked up with little Jimmy beforehand. <laughs> oh, Jill, you... Yeah, that's how our role plays go. We should probably end it there. <laughs> Isn't Jill up like Snoopy? I need something to do. Uh, Look up Snoopy's laugh on YouTube uh, and listen to Joe's no, laugh. Oh, no. See, we're gonna do it. Tomorrow we're going to do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm, all, I'm all sweating with laughing. Woo. All right. <laughs> Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. 
We, we are, are Jack and Jill, and, and this was the Cash Flow from land, land Show. We are the experts at acquiring property of all kinds, not just land. For half price, just so we can flip it for way more. And really fast. Thanks for listening. You are not alone in your real estate ambition.